All right, and welcome everyone to our next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Today's benchmark is 11.2, the cosine, half angle, and double angle formulas. We're going to use the uh, half angle or double angle formulas to find the exact value below. Uh, here, I'm in this particular problem, I'm telling you that the cotangent of u is equal to 7, and we also know that u is in between pi and 3 pi over 2 which is in quadrant 3 and we have to find the cosine of u divided by 2 so that's the half angle now, I've written the half angle formula here but before uh, we do that let's uh, set up our reference triangle and find our uh, find our sides cotangent of u is 7 which means uh, the adjacent to hypotenuse I'm sorry, opposite. Uh, cotangent is adjacent over opposite. And then I'll use the Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus 7 squared, to get the hypotenuse. Uh, that's 1 and 49, so 50. And then square root. Square root of 50 is uh, 5 square root 2 in simplest form. So there is my hypotenuse. Now before I before I uh, move on and use my formula, I'm, I'm going to do two things. Uh, both of them involve uh, the intervals for u and half of u and which quadrants we're in. And that's going to tell me what sign uh, I should be using, positive or negative. So the first thing um, is uh, in our interval from pi to 3 pi over 2, that's quadrant 3, Cotangent is positive, but cosine is negative. So if I'm going to be evaluating the cosine of u, I should be using a negative value. And actually, that would be um, um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so uh, 7 over 5 square root 2. That's going to be my cosine of u, negative. And then also my interval for u divided by 2 is also going to be negative and the reason for that um, if I'm going to divide everything here by 2 that interval becomes pi over 2 and u over 2 and 3 pi over 4 and this becomes quadrant 2 where cosine is still negative. So uh, both my uh, negative square root and the cosine will be negative. And I'll just uh, plug it into my formula now. So we have cosine of u divided by 2 to equal negative 1 plus uh, the cosine of u, which I just did right above, negative 7, 5 square root 2, all over 2. Now, I don't want that square root on the bottom, so I will rationalize that. Square root 2, square root 2, and that's going to give me square root of, negative square root of, 1 minus 7 square root 2 and then 5 times 2 is 10 all over 2. Uh, Alright, I'll get a common denominator on the top. So I have the square root of 10 minus 7 square root 2 all over 2, oops, excuse me, all over 10 and then that's over 2. And I'll use my dividing fraction, flip and multiply. So I get negative square root of 10 minus 7 square root 2 over 20. And that is my answer. All right. Part B asks us to write the formula for cosine of 2u. Since we use the half angle here, 
I just want the formula for cosine. Now there are uh, a couple of them, but we want the uh, the basic one. So cosine of 2u is equal to cosine squared u minus sine squared u. And that comes from the uh, angle addition formula, actually, for cosine, which is the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus sine of a sine of b. And if uh, a and b are the same, we get cosine squared minus sine squared. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.